Yeah, so the sheriff's office last night received a call uh, from uh, parents of a 16-year-old female uh, stating that they wanted to speak with deputies in reference to a possible uh, sexual uh, an incident of a sexual nature involving uh, their 16-year-old daughter and a uh, current teacher uh, of hers at a, uh, at a local school. The deputies arrived on the scene, spoke with the parents, uh, spoke with the female, at which time she disclosed that uh, she was currently in a sexual relationship with a, a teacher at her school. Was this one of her teachers? Yes, it's, he is a, currently a teacher of, of, of the female. Yes. And how old is he? Uh, he is, I believe, 44 years of age. And do we know what school? Uh, it, all I can say at this point is it's a, it's a local private uh, institution. It's not a public school, but it is located in Mobile County. How unusual is this? Very unusual. Um, I would say this is this is a very heinous crime. Uh, we have these statutes in place in Alabama. They're fairly new uh, statutes. It's it's uh, it's a shame that we have to have statutes like this that uh, prohibit teachers or, or any school employee, for that matter, having any sexual relationship with a student. Uh, it, it goes beyond explanation, I believe. But um, unfortunately, we have to have these laws in place uh, to protect our children, and uh, we take it very seriously. Can you tell us what went down at the Sims Walmart? Yes, so uh, our 16-year-old uh, student um, met uh, her teacher at the uh, Sims Walmart. Uh, he picked her up. They drove um, not too far from where her vehicle was located. Um, they engaged in sexual acts. Uh, she then walked back to her vehicle. At this time, it had been over an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Her parents became concerned. Uh, for her safety, that she wasn't back home by now. She told them that she was going to the Walmart to pick up school supplies. Um, uh, she hadn't returned in an hour and a half, so they went out, they, they found her car, uh, did not find their daughter in the car. Um, they went inside the Walmart. They could not locate their daughter, so they become very concerned and they notified uh, the sheriff's office and wanted to file a, a missing persons report. Uh, deputies, um, got to the area fairly quickly, uh, started looking uh, for, the, for the daughter, um, driving down the streets and, and making a, a really concerted effort to find her. Uh, one of the deputies did find her uh, walking down um, Moffett Road, um, picked her up, brought her back to the Walmart, at which time she did disclose that uh, she was having a sexual uh, relationship with her teacher. Do we know if this was the first rendezvous or has this been going on for a while? It, it's, uh, it's not the first uh, encounter between the two. Um, I'm not, I can't really disclose how many, but it, it, is, it, is a, uh, it, it is not the first, I will say. Was that. the Walmart the usual meeting place for them? Uh, no, this was the first time that they had met at this location. Yes. Do you know how long the relationship had been going on? Uh, I believe he has been uh, a teacher uh, at this school for quite a number of years. Um, I believe she's been there for maybe two or three. Uh, they know each other, obviously. She's a student in his class currently. Um, and I believe this has been going on for, for several months. Is this the first uh, mark on his record like this? To my knowledge, yes, yes. Uh, uh, other than this, you would, you would think he is the uh, um, the, the, the model teacher, he's, uh, he is a teacher and a coach. Uh, so he's, you, you have, uh, especially in a, not just a teacher, but a coach, you have people, uh, players, athletes that look up to their coaches. And they're supposed to with good reason. Um, now all of this is alleged, um, but the, the facts and the evidence to this point have, have given us enough probable cause. Uh, we consulted with the DA's office and there's enough probable cause to to uh, make an arrest, or uh, made, uh, going to make an arrest on two felony charges. Which sport did he coach? What, what did he teach? Uh, I, I'm not going to go into which sport. Uh, I will say that he is an active coach um, uh, at the school, and uh, he, I believe he teaches um, science, maybe. Maybe science, yes. Could there possibly be other victims? There could be. Um, in, in my 24 years in law enforcement, uh, rarely do we find uh, an offender, uh, whether it be a burglary suspect, um, a sexual offender, that the, when you catch them in the act, it's very rarely their first offense. Um, in many of these cases, um, in my experience in law enforcement with, uh, with juvenile victims, they go unreported. Uh, we're taught to confide in our 
you know, our adults, especially teachers and coaches. Um, so it's it's very rare that these are disclosed, and I, I believe this was only disclosed because the parents took took the initiative to find out where their daughter was. And kind of a plea to other students too, if this has happened, you know, please come forward if you know anything, come forward. Absolutely, come forward. You can remain anonymous. Um, we don't judge. The Sheriff's Office and law enforcement in general, just, we do not judge. We gather the facts and the evidence and we apply the law to that, that facts and evidence. We, we're not uh, the judge, we're not the jury. Um, but I will say that we take these uh, these accusations, uh, these crimes very seriously and we will hold especially adults accountable for their actions against uh, against our youth. What kind of uh, charges is he, look, is he looking at? So he's looking at two felony charges. One is uh, a school employee engaging in sexual acts or sexual intercourse with a student under the age of 19. Uh, that is a class B felony. And the other charge is a school employee engaging with, in sexual contact with a student under the age of 19, which if, is a class C felony. If he is convicted, what do those sentences look like? Uh, a, a Class B felony is, uh, is a very serious charge. You're looking at uh, between uh, 10 and 20 years on each on each charge, potentially. Uh, you also look at the, the suspect's criminal history. Um, yeah, I, I don't believe he has a criminal history, but that doesn't negate the fact that this is a very serious, uh, heinous crime if, if, if it's proven that, that he did indeed uh, perpetrate this. And for the suspect coming up, bond hearing, do you know if that's coming up? Soon? A bond hearing will be tomorrow, yes.